almost everywhere on Passover Eve. On May 5th, 1936, Ethiopia fell to a foreign power for the first time. Five tragic years passed before the country regained its independence from fascist Italy. Since that time, Liberation Day has become a national holiday. War veterans come to Addis Ababa to pay homage to the man who led them to victory and who has become synonymous with Ethiopia. His Imperial Majesty, Haile Selassie I, King of Kings, conquering lion of the tribe of Judah, elect of God, and Emperor of Ethiopia since 1930. Emperor Haile Selassie has survived crises few modern leaders experience. The brutal conquest of his country was the most painful. When he appealed for help to the League of Nations, he spoke not only for Ethiopia, but for the integrity of all small nations. The world turned its back and drifted into a second world war. In Ethiopian life, the imperial ruler is likened in splendor to the sun, in exalted power to the lion, in his divine being to the kings of Israel, and at times to God himself. But the majesty of his office has not kept Haile Selassie from active leadership of his people. His will determines the policies to be followed by his ministers, by his successor, Crown Prince Asfa Wassen, and in some instances, even by the church. Emperor Haile Selassie is an absolute monarch, or as near as any in modern times. He has guided Ethiopia's destinies for over four decades with firm purpose. In large measure, each triumph, burden, or sorrow has been his. Ethiopia's bitter struggles to stay free from foreign domination are not forgotten, nor are its ancient military traditions. As the emperor passes, every veteran proudly proclaims his own bravery in battling for king and country. 